One day they had to wait for Henry's train, which made Thomas very cross. How can I run my line properly if Henry is always late? He doesn't realize that the fat controller depends on me. Thomas whistled impatiently. He wanted to leave, but he had to wait for Henry's passengers. At last, Henry came. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Thomas. Oh dear, my system is out of order. No one understands my case. You don't know what I suffer, moaned Henry. Rubbish, said Thomas. You're too fat, you need exercise. The guard blew his whistle and Thomas started so quickly that he left him behind. The guard waved his red flag to stop Thomas, but he was well on his way steaming out of the station. Bother, there's a station. Then he heard Bertie. Goodbye, Thomas. You must be tired. Sorry, I can't stop. We buses have to work, you know. Goodbye. Oh dear, thought Thomas. We've lost. But he felt better after a drink. The signal dropped. Hurrah, we're off. Hurrah, we're off, puffed Thomas. Look, call some boys. There's a new tank engine. Oh, it's only Gordon back to front. Hello, call Thomas. Playing tank engines? Sensible engine. Take my advice. Scrap your tender and have a nice bunker. Gordon said nothing. Even James laughed when he saw him. Take care, his Gordon. You might stick too. No fear, chuckled James. I'm not so fat as you. Toby and Henrietta are enjoying their new job on the island of Sodor, but they do look old-fashioned and need new paint. James was very rude whenever he saw them. Ugh, what dirty objects, he would say. At last, Toby lost patience. James, he asked, why are you red? I am a splendid engine, answered James, ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty. Oh, said Toby innocently, that's why you once needed bootlaces to be ready, I suppose. James went redder than ever and snorted off. It was such an insult to be reminded of the time a bootlace had been used to mend a hole in his coaches. <laughs> <laughs>